Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, we got the new Zero Gravity Reward Pink Diamond Latrell Spiro gameplay. If you guys do not know how to earn this card, what you guys have to do is you have to get 20 rebounds with that Diamond Rick Smith card. If we come over to the season agendas, as you guys can see, you have to get 20 rebounds with the Zero Gravity Reward Rick Smith over multiple games, and then you will get the Pink Diamond Latrell Spirel, and he is the first Pink Diamond in the Zero Gravity set. Looking at Latrell Spirel here though, he is a 95 overall, shooting guard small forward, six foot five, so not a bad height for the shooting guard position. He's got a 92 mid-range, 93 ball, 95 drive dunk, which is really nice as a 90 ball handle and he's pretty good on the defensive end with the 80 block 80 interior 92 steel and 93 perimeter defense he's also got 92 speed 92 acceleration 89 speed with ball as well as having 92 hustle and 93 lateral quickness he's got 17 hall of fame badges including catch and shoot for a specialist fearless finisher clamps limitless spot up downhill quick first step Hot Zone Hunter, Limitless Takeoff, and Volume Shooter, as well as he's got 40 gold badges, including Hyperdrive, Glue Hands, Pickpocket, Chase Down Artist, Interceptor, Pogo Stick, Mismatch Expert, Blinders, Bailout, Hails for Days, Stop and Go, Unplockable, Stop and Pop, Green Machine, Bullet Passer, Race Under Pressure, Fast Twitch, and Ball Stripper. He looks to be a very good shooting guard. Now let's hop into freestyle and test out his jump shot and animations. Looking at Latrell Spirel here in freestyle, the first thing we can notice is he does have the shifty dribble style. Me personally, I do like quick dribble style a little bit more, but shifty is still pretty good. Looking at his jump shot, I mean, that's actually a pretty solid jump shot. I'm not going to lie to you. That's pretty good for a shooting guard. That jump shot's pretty fast. I'm not sure if it's on very quick or if it's only on quick release timing, but it is a super fast jump shot. So I'm just going to assume the jump shot is on very quick release timing. Latrell does have a pretty good jump shot. He actually feels like he moves decently on the offensive end. As you guys can see, his snatchback animation is pretty good. He feels pretty quick with the ball in his hands. Going to the basket does have that 95 driving dunk and should, and should get some pretty good dunk and dunking animations. My only thing I'm worried about the card, his player model does look kind of small. He looks very tiny. He looks like six foot three on the court and he looks very skinny. So that could be a problem at the shooting guard position. But let's green one more three and let's get on to the Latrell Spreewell gameplay. Got to get back on defense here. Watch this Damien Lillard. Good defense there by Latrell, man. He's got eight seconds left on the clock. We are there on his day, man. That is great defense by Latrell. That is great defense. And Yao Ming is on the rebound and we are running in transition. Let's see what Latrell Spreewell can do. Can he find Bob Netalecki on the inside? Back out to Latrell. Gonna call a screen here from Yao Ming. Looking to go around that screen. Latrell Spirel, stop, pop. Can he knock it down? Not really a great jump shot there by me. 31% contested. Probably should have looked for a better shot. Julie Servant looking to attack, attack the basket here with Dr. J. Man, Latrell's playing great defense so far. That is great defense. Look at Latrell. He's getting back on defense. And he's gonna swat that out of the air. And we are running with Latrell Spirel. We got Yao Ming in the pick and roll. What can we do? We're gonna see Yao Ming on the inside going all the way for the easy two-handed slam dunk. Latrell so far is playing some amazing defense. He's had three really good defensive possessions, which is obviously really nice to see for your shooting guard. But pretty good take there by opponent with Dr. J. Looking to get back on defense, but wow. Dr. J is going to go all the way and he is going to get the two hand flush to go. Got to get back in this pick and roll action with Yao Ming. Looking to attack the basket. Latrell Spirel, he is going to take off with that Hall of Fame limitless takeoff where he should have it at least on gold. And he's going to get all the way to the basket and get two points on the board. Well, got to watch this Damian Lear cutting inside. We are there, man. Great defense by the squad. Squad is playing great defense in this clutch time game look at luka Doncic stopping deer up look at the post hook and he's gonna get the five percent post hook to go pretty lucky there by my opponent but latrus rirel he is ready to go on the offensive end looking to go around bob netalecki screen what can we do gonna see bob netalecki going all the way for the easy one-handed slam dunk latrus rirel man being a great playmaker in this clutch time game so far he's got two points and two assists on the game Gotta watch that pass inside to Dr. J. Good defense there by Draymond. You can't go up on Draymond, man. He's the best defensive card in the game. Gonna see Latrell Spirel in the corner. What can we do? Call screen from Yao Ming. Trying to create some space around the three-point line. 37% covered. Latrell Spreewell is gonna knock down his first three-pointer of the gameplay. Gotta get back on defense. We are here with Latrell. How is it not my steal? Probably not the best bait there, but wow, he's gonna miss. A wide open shot and we are running Yao Ming looking to attack the basket get a pump fake with Yao Ming Yao Ming going up for the easy layup as we do take an early 
seven point lead man i want to switch let charles Spearwell. i want to put him on damian lillard i want him to be the on ball defender and see what he can do on the defensive end but so far he's been playing some amazing defense in this clutch time game and we have my opponent in an absolute box but i let him go right by me that's on me man that's not on latrell i let him i literally just let him go right by me but look at latrell he's going down the court stop pop latrell Spearwell. that jump shot yeah that jump shot's money man that is a great jump shot i'm still not sure if it's on quick or very quick but it feels like a very fast jump shot which is obviously what we want to see good defense there by latrell i got lost a little bit on damian lillard and he's gonna knock down the three latrell on the offensive end man he is cooking so far he is absolutely cooking on the offensive end right now look at latrell Spreewell gonna stop pop from way downtown and he is gonna knock down another three-pointer in the clutch time game he's got 11 points and two assists on the game so far gotta watch his dr j gonna kick it out to damian lillard we're here man great defense that is good defense by Latrell. Gonna force him out of bounds. And my opponent is out of here. Latrell at the three-point line. Look at Latrell. Stop, pop. Can he knock it down? Yes, he can for another three-pointer. That jump shot is actually super money, man. Not gonna lie to you. I don't know what his jump shot is, but it is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll have to check 2KDB after this gameplay and see what his jump shot is looking like. As D-Rob's gonna miss wide open. That is pretty unfortunate for my opponent, but we are running, man. You know we got to run in transition. Can we get open with Latrell Spreewell? Looking to create some space. Look at Latrell. He got him crabbed. Green light from way downtown. My man Latrell Spreewell is going crazy right now. He's honestly a great offensive card. Like so far in these clutch time games, he's playing some really good offense. Wow, my opponent's going to knock down a 9% covered fadeaway in the corner with his Dr. J. But we got to continue to cook with my man Latrell Spreewell. Look at him creating so much space. Look at him creating so much space. I got to green that. But Latrell is going to knock that down. Can we get the steal with Yao Ming? No, we can't. Got to hustle back on defense. Watch as Yao Ming. Oh my God, he just pulled that. Good defense there by the squad, though. We are running. Can we see Latrell Spreewell on the right side wing? He's looking to cook around Julie Serving. Looking to attack the basket. Going to see Bob Netta Lecky underneath that basket for the easy one-handed slam dunk. Hasn't really had to do anything on the defensive end, but offensively, Latrell is playing absolutely amazing in the second clutch time game. My man is getting absolutely bailed. Are you guys seeing this right now? I hope I'm showing all these clips in the gameplay, but he should have 56% covered. I don't even know what type of shot that was. It was like a fadeaway on the left side wing or something like that. But like I was saying, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys caught up to date with these zero gravity rewards? Or have you guys already got the Rick Smith and now you're going to do his 20 rebounds? I just did that before the gameplay. Honestly, was really easy. Just going to trip with that offline and pretty much just grab rebounds. It's pretty simple. Nothing too complicated for the challenges. We're going to swing that over to Draymond in the corner and we're going to get the hockey assist with Latrell Spreewell and knock down that three pointer. I don't know, man. I might be a little bit biased, but I feel like my opponent is getting pretty bailed in this game. He set two three pointers. I feel like really shouldn't have gone in, especially that 56% covered three pointer. I just don't know, man. I don't know if that should be going in. My opponent, he's playing great defense, so I'll give him that. Latrell looking for one last three-pointer. He is wide open at the top of the key, and he is going to green light another three-pointer. In the second clutch time game, he had 12 points and one assist so far. There's only 51 seconds left, but man, Latrell Spreewell played absolutely amazing in both of these clutch time games. Honestly, wasn't looking the biggest fan of his stats and badges. He looked he looked pretty good stats and badges wise, but I really did not know how he was going to play in game. I still do think he has a flaw that he looks way too small. Like he really looks like he's six foot two or six foot three in game. And he does look pretty small on the court. But that's my only flaw with the card because offensively, Latrell is an absolute bucket. And my opponent is out of here, man. He had enough of Latrell Spreewell. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay with Latrell. He hooped in game number one and he hooped in game number two let me know what you guys do think about the card in the comment section down below i'll catch you guys in the next one peace